what is the deal with twins on YouTube, man? <laughs> the Dolan twins, the Martinez twins, the Dubray brothers, the Dave Martino twins. All of them rich as hell, subscribers spilling out of their anus. It's like YouTube one day was like, you know what? If you had to share a womb with your sibling, boy, that must have been difficult. Why don't you just start a YouTube channel? We'll toss you 10 million subs right out of the gates. The only requirement is you have to make content that makes adults want to lobotomize themselves. Yeah. Like you don't care, hit it if you ain't scared. I actually thought you were a girl, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. Like bro, you're uh, Yo. you were uh, yeah. Yo. You pranked me too. We haven't done a boyfriend swap video in some time, and we decided to bring it back for fall. I mean, I'm not trying to throw shade, but honestly, who chooses to be a twin? <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. Anyways, another pair of twins were added again this week, and that's why we're here today. YouTubers, the Stokes twins, have been charged for bank robbery pranks. No, Stokes twins! Oh, God, you hate to see it. Oh, you just hate to... You just, I don't really hate it. That I, I quite like that, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, these were felony charges, okay? And I don't know a lot about the justice system, but I know that felonies are bad. And I know that when you have hair that looks like that, you're probably not going to hold up that well in prison. Listen, I love a delicious e-boy quaff as much as the next guy. I mean, the pair here, magnificent. But if you're used to spending 45 minutes in the mirror with a hair dryer, adjusting to prison life is going to be sad violin dot wave. I'm just spitballing here. Don't take my word for it. What the hell do I know? So the Stokes twins here are approaching five milli subs, crushing it clearly. And I, this is the first I've heard of them, which is a shock uh, to me because I'm usually really into uh, extreme dares in public. <laughs> nah, I'm only teasing. And I do apologize if you got a retinopathy from looking through those thumbnails with me. I promise I wouldn't do that again to you. Got him. Now, the video in question was deleted off of their channel on account of the felony charges, I'm sure. But guess what? It's the internet, and someone re-uploaded it, so we're going to take a peek at that. Oh. Coming in hot right out of the gate to hook us for the full 1002. Running away with bags of money and ski masks. Classic. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So, I'm Alan. And I'm Alex. And you might be wondering why we're dressed like this, and it's because... <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's because we're doing a bank robber prank. These guys fucking kill me. Look at that hair, though. Woo wee. Money. So we have a lot of money right here. We're going to be running around in front of people and making it seem like we just got done robbing a bank. Let's try to get this video 100,000 likes because we're literally risking our lives doing this video. Risking their lives for you, the viewer. For you, the underdeveloped child viewer, I have to imagine. The least you can do is give them 100,000 likes. Smash the fucking like button. Damn it. 200? No, I'm, I'm trying to make like a larger, larger like amount. You know how tight your security is or you don't? That's probably tight. That's okay. I'll just go find out myself. All right. Thank you. I know that dude was thinking nobody with this quaff here is robbing any bank, so he probably just played along to be nice uh, until he left him alone. Uber, Uber for Alan? Yes. They got an Uber, here we go. Uh, our, our getaway driver just bailed on us, so uh... Is it, uh, what is it? What is, what is, what is like this? Oh, we're going to like a costume, costume party. Oh, we're going to like a costume, uh, costume party. Did you, uh, step on it? Like, step on a gas? No, just over here. Okay, can I just take this away? Just get out of my compass. Actually? Yeah. Wait. No, we're going to get caught. Okay. No, we can't do, uh, oh man. That, this isn't good. Go, go. So they call the Uber, he gets there, prank his ass, <laughs> idiot, these guys are a hoot. Uh, and then he calls the cops, I think, and uh, a bunch of cops, like a SWAT team rolls in, and they pull guns on the Uber driver, not knowing if he's involved, uh, and he gets out of the car, and it's a whole thing. What could have gone wrong? I mean, come on, this is some hilarious shit. That's what I read after the fact in the, in the police report, or the article I read. Uh, Your videotapes and stuff? Yeah, yeah, we were, we were like a public prank. We, uh, yeah, officer, you know, we were just doing a public prank, you know, so it's Gucci, though, right? Over here, close the door. 
public prank that gets so about do, like, 15 police officers in the area hauling butt over here because so you guys I, are pulling off mass. Officer, I just told you it was a public prank. Hello, we're YouTubers. <laughs> Idiot. Go write a parking ticket or something. Actually, before you do, can you can you get a selfie over here with me real quick? My followers are going to think this is lit. Uh, is it is it okay if I take you on a date sometime or? Uh, no. No. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Okay. What about? What about now? I can literally buy you anything. Please, like, just not even a number, a phone number. I have nothing witty to say. This segment is just stupid. You guys know where the nearest bank is at? Well, like, ATMs are like a bank, bank. Wells Fargo. How far is that? Do you know how tight their security is? Or oh, we're, I'm about to go. Well, not. I'm just gonna make a large withdrawal. If you know what I mean. So. All right. Do you guys know where there's like a bank nearby? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wells Fargo. Sick, dude. Yeah. No. Don't worry about the ski mask. I'm gonna rob the bank. <laughs> yeah. I know. No. Oh, it's next to the Target. Cool. It's for a YouTube video. Don't panic. Cool, guys. Thanks. So I'm. I'm actually trying to rob a bank, and I'm looking for an attractive female to like distract the security guard. Would you? Would you be down to do that? Oh! Did you hear that? Those panties just hit the concrete. That is pickup artist level 11 right there. My man is spitting game with the ski mask, the whole get up. That woman doesn't stand a chance. I'm looking for an attractive lady to distract the guards while I rob the bank. God damn it. Where were those pickup lines when I was in college? I'm new around here and I was just wondering real quick, could I maybe get your names or like your phone number or anything like that? No? Is it okay if I take one of you guys on a date sometime? Or? What is this like asking people out on a date narrative during the bank robbery prank thing? That's that's such a twins YouTube channel AIDS content kind of thing. I just, why why are you going to stuff that in there? For the Gen, it's for the Gen Z, I know it is. Okay, so we're going to stop the video right there. Honestly, we've been no, filming for three days stop. and those are the best reactions that we could get. So if you guys enjoyed- I'm sorry, did you say you filmed for three days? For the fuck? For three days for those, and those are the reactions you got? Oh, <laughs> I get it. You spent two of the days blow drying your hair. Why is it so nice? God damn it, it's gorgeous. Hell yeah, outtakes. I know you Alex. Before they actually call the police like they did earlier. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we've had the police calling us like all day. So, like, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, <laughs> This is so perfect. The first outtake, the first outtake is them bragging about the very reason why they just got arrested uh, here nine months later. Just to clarify this now, since we're in the postscript a little bit, uh, this video was on their channel in October of 2019. So it takes the police a long time to build a case apparently, but uh, they just got now charged this week, which, yeah, that's like a solid nine, ten months. Each of the twins was charged with one felony count of false imprisonment affected by violence, menace, fraud, or deceit. I don't really know what that means exactly, but also one misdemeanor count of falsely reporting an emergency, uh, which is basically the same charge you get when swatting. So they didn't call the police themselves like a traditional swatting, but they were doing something that elicited a bunch of calls that kind of results in the same thing. For example, the police showing up, rifles drawn on that Uber driver because the police don't know, is there a real bank heist going on? Is this Uber driver involved? Super dangerous shit. And as we all know, someone a year, a couple years ago, died as the result of a swatting prank. I mean, it's just, it's negligent. And you know, I hope they got 100,000 likes. That's the least we could do for a couple of felony charges. I hope they hit that 100,000 and it, and it made it worth it. I caught an Uber driver, right? And we both got in the car. And then the, the like people like saw us get in the car with like the ski mask and everything on. And then we, the Uber driver kicked us out of the car. One minute later, there were like, 10 cop cars that pulled out like guns on him. Like they're like they rifles. <laughs> they thought he was a getaway driver. So he had like 15 guns like put on. He's like, I'm not even a part of this. I mean, you can't draw it up any better than these two. Yeah, he like, dude, he literally almost died. Like the cop was like, oh, oh he almost shot him in the face. Oh, that would have been sick. But nah, he's fine, I think. I don't really know. But you guys know where the nearest bank is? Yeah, poor guy. So. Yeah, poor guy. So. <laughs> And felony charge. Sorry about your luck. Because so you guys I, are pulling up mass. So I called the emergency, non-emergency number about like, um, I think the other day to let them know. This was on Saturday. And I told them that we would be filming Saturday and on uh, Wednesday as well. I'm sorry, did you say you called the non-emergency number to let them know on which days you would be filming these fake public felonies? 
in order to get the public riled up and to, you know, just disregard all the calls coming in that day. We're just we're just filming a YouTube video. Hi, yeah, is this the police station? Yeah, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday this week, three days. Actually, just Monday, the first two days we're going to be styling our hair. Yeah, if you get any calls about potential bank robberies and some dangerous characters, forget it. It's just for, it's a prank video on YouTube, so don't worry about sending the cops. We'll be, it'll be fine. Saturday and on Wednesday. Yeah, that officer's not having it. get someone potentially gun stuck or someone. Public. What that? We have people stopping in the middle of the street because they're watching this. Guys pulling up ski masks, throwing stuff on the ground, changing clothes. First, we actually stepped it up and like pushed our like our. I guess our. Yeah, it worked. Up. Yeah. It and worked. I just didn't expect this to actually happen because like most of the people are just always laughing because they. We just kind of stepped it up this time, officer. I don't know what happened. Usually people just laugh. It's funny, <laughs> but we just it's it got so lit this time that I just can't believe people called. I'm so sorry. These dudes, these dudes are, yeah, just a little bit, they're just a little disconnected from reality. That's all I'll say. Hey, dude, think about what's going on nowadays. Mm -hmm. Think about it, man. You've got to be smarter than that, man. Mm -hmm. You know better. Do they know better, though? And you're lucky you didn't get any guns drawn at you. You're absolutely lucky you didn't get any guns drawn at you. Right? Let's just be careful. So that incredibly nice and gentle cup uh, wraps that video up. Unfortunately, there are no comments to read because this is a re-upload in the original has been deleted. But here we are, nine months later, these brothers are facing misdemeanor and felony charges. And according to the legend, Jonathan Scarce, the brothers face up to four years in prison if convicted on both counts. They could face up to four years in prison. <laughs> yeah, that's never gonna happen. But, <laughs> you know, they'll pay a hefty fine, I'm sure, which will be a drop in their bucket of YouTube money. Maybe get probation for six, 12, 18 months. Uh, I don't know, but there's no chance these dudes are seeing the inside of a jail cell. A little part of my brain has sympathy for these two. You know what I'm saying? Caught up in the YouTube grind, just doing some dumbass prank, just disconnected from reality, not realizing what they're doing is absolutely fucking stupid. But the other part of me loves to see YouTube pranksters eat crow after they do some bullshit. So I'm curious to see what comes of this. I'm not wishing that anybody goes to jail, but as the saying goes, if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So you know what? At the very least, I hope these dudes learn their lessons so next time they think twice before doing some dumb shit in public. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And after you do that, grab your mother's razor and shave the small of your back and take those hair shavings and twirl them up into a little ball and then place that ball of lower back hair on your tongue and swallow it down like a vitamin and stand up and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yes. You know.